Perhaps one of the most important winemaking decisions is when to harvest. Up to this point, it's all about the vine delivering the, the nutrients and the characteristics to the grape that the winemaker is looking for. As soon as we harvest, that's it. It's all down to the winemaker and the viticultural team has nothing left to do with that. So it's important to get out there about two to three weeks before the anticipated harvest date and get a representative sample of where the vineyard is at. So let's talk a little bit about the strategy of sampling. I'm gonna get out to the vineyard, take a look at the overall size of it, decide if I wanna sample every 10 rows, every five rows, maybe every 15 rows. It all depends. And again, it's just about being representative of that vineyard. So I'll select my row and I'll start. And I'm gonna zigzag down because there's gonna be different ex sun exposures between the two different sides of the vines. With that, there's also different portions of the vine. So maybe on that first vine, I'll take a cluster to furthest to the right, and as I work down the row, I'm gonna eventually end up with a cluster on the farthest left. And that way, in the end, what the winemaker is gonna be receiving when we, when we crush those grapes is a good representation of the sugar of the vineyard, the acidity of the vineyard, the kind of average tannin structure, the color, and that's what he's really gonna to need to make those decisions of when should I harvest those vineyard lots. Even though harvest is in full swing, it's still important that we get out there every day to do some cluster sampling. Now we're growing five different grapes. We have the Chardonnay, we have the Merlot, Malbec, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. But each of those ripen at different times. So it's important for us to go out there, collect those clusters, bring them here, make some juice out of it, and we'll test that juice. So what we're doing right here on the crush deck now is testing for the sugar level. And it's very simple. We simply take the juice from the grapes. I'm gonna use this little handheld refractometer. I'll take a little sample. And that's it, it's very simple. And from that data, that's gonna give us an idea of how ripe the grape is. Now, there's a lot more to it than that. We're gonna look at some other numbers. At the end of it though, it just comes down to taste. And that's what every decision here at the Jordan Winery is based off of, because at the end of the day, that's really all that matters.